Yo, what's up, folk? I just wanted to bring this message to y'all because, you know, this is something that I've been struggling with and I'm currently struggling with as we speak. And I kind of just want to, like, relieve the tension that is, you know, in my mind and that might also be in your mind as well. It, I have an irrational fear of at the end of this life cycle, at the end of this journey we call life, you know, are we, are we to be judged? Are we to be judged, you know, for our actions and, you know, equally so our reactions and all these other things, you know, like, it may seem like it's something that isn't, you know, necessarily important because it's like, Sometimes you think to yourself like, oh, I'm going to live a long life and stuff or, you know, it doesn't matter because we can be here today, gone tomorrow. But that's that's such an easy cop out. And I spend so much time, so much time, so much that you wouldn't even believe sitting here thinking to myself like, damn, like, what does it all really amount to at the end of the day? <laughs> it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense you know it's just like you could sit here and you could be you know you could be god's gift to earth and you make mistakes and you know at the end of it you get judged and that's it that's off that one thing and that's it like could that really be could that really be what it is or could it be that when it's over it's just you just fade to black like the movies you just cut and that's it and there's nothing else after that it's the fact of not knowing that just keeps me in like this constant thought loop and just you know it brings me to like a a, a chilling sensation where it's like dude like sometimes like not knowing is is the best option because it's like would we really even be able to handle the truth at the end of the day. I don't know. Sometimes I say that I can handle the truth. And that you know. But I don't know. I don't know. And that's what's. That's what's really fearful. You know. And I don't want to live life in fear. And it's such an irrational fear to have. And you know. It feels like. Motherfuckers are afraid of like, you know, height. I remember the days when it was so easy. I was afraid of like heights and shit and, you know, like talking to women and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like making a fool of myself in public and, you know, not having the right words to say and not opening my big mouth when I felt like I needed to. All these other irrational fears that I have. Now the, the most irrational fear that I have is just not knowing. And that it's just like it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like. I don't want something like that to be paralyzing and sometimes it doesn't feel like so but sometimes it just cripples you it just cripples me in a sense you know i just don't know and it just fucking drives you up the wall sometimes because like bro like i just want to enjoy this as much as i can and what i mean by this is this journey is the you know what i mean like the journey always beats the destination is what I've always heard as like a sentiment that I've just heard like throughout life. And it's like, I just want to enjoy the journey no matter where the destination is. Like, you know, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm saying this because of like some religious purposes or something like that, because it's like, you just don't know, like at the end of this, could there really be like a man, like plaited in white with a white beard that that judges you and sends you you know what i mean like could there be like an almighty figure the creator of this whole you know scenario could we be judged like i don't know man i just don't enjoy having this irrational fear like in the back of my mind like i'll be honest with y'all man like I was I was a reefer head heavy. I, I you know I enjoyed smoking my weed. It it helped calm down with the you know with thoughts like these, and it allowed me to you know like be like all right, you know another day, one step at a time, and just. But recently, what has been happening is I've been sitting down and you know like been 
like the last time that I smoked with a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, like I got so paranoid. Like, and it made me feel just like, it was just like a foreign feeling. Like I looked at him and I seen him, but you know, my body was in a fight or flight mode where it was like, try to find a way to get away from this, from this individual. Like, I don't, I don't like that feeling because it's like, again, like this is what I've grown to be comfortable with. And lately I've been so like lonely, as you can see now, it's just me and, you know, like nights grow so lonely and it's, it's the winter time and it's cold and it's like, sometimes it just feels like there's no end to it. Like even when the, when the summertime comes and the sun is beaming, I stay riding solo and, you know, I don't find deep and personal connections as much as I used to and stuff like that. It almost feels like, you know, a lot of relationships remain shallow and, you know, I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone and, and go to, you know, going out and speaking to people and, you know, having genuine conversations and being vulnerable and stuff like that. And it just like, again, it's just, it feels like it's just service level, like there's superficial surface level relationships it just feels like oh we're just gonna you know what i mean like just talk about this and not talk about our fears and not what makes our minds run all day and this that and there we're just gonna talk about you know like the good times and stuff and i i don't i don't enjoy that you know what i mean like i want somebody that's gonna be like genuine and you know tell me what keeps them up at night what you know what troubles them when they're in troubled situations, you know, when they feel lonely and when they feel like they have nobody to turn to, not even their self, you know, and I had, I, I have a very favorite line from Prince that he says, um, it, he said, if I was your girlfriend, would you run to me if somebody hurt you, even if that somebody was me? And it's like, I never understood why I love that line so much up until recently, because it's like, when you have somebody like that, that hurts you, and you can turn to them for sanctuary, even though they hurt you. There's very few people in your life, but as well as mine, like that I can do that to or with, you know? And I just, again, it all just feels like sometimes like, you know, superficial relationships are just the norm, you know? People are talking about this COVID-19 and get vaccinated and, you know, this is the new normal and this, that, and the third. And I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, I wish I would have appreciated those days where I, you know, the ignorance really was bliss. The days where, you know, I could hug my grandmother and she didn't have a mask on or the days that I can hug and kiss my mom and she wasn't afraid that she was sick and that she could give me something that I can contract. I miss the days where, you know, I could just sit down and smoke reefer with my friends and just enjoy it and, you know, not get paranoid and just not have like terrible thoughts. And I miss all of that. But at the same time, I'm growing and becoming something that I've never become before. And I have different responsibilities. I have different priorities. And that's all great. It's just, is this, is this the right move? Like, is this the right thing to do? Like, is this the right way to live? And my people, if you're, if like whoever watches this, whoever this video comes in contact with, if you're struggling with this too, you're not going through this alone. And that's something that I've been telling myself as well to get through it is that you are not going through this alone. There are people that have thoughts just like this. And here I am in the flesh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a, you know, phone screen right now. And this is how you're watching me. But I have the, the same, I'm not. I'm not perfect, bro. I don't have the answers. I might parade around and, you know, like I know a few things, but nobody knows Jack. I don't know Jack. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. And sometimes I don't want to know nothing because it's like the, what what might lay behind the veil. People are sworn not to tell what is behind the veil, you know? I don't know, my peoples. It's just, I don't know. The holidays are coming up and, you know, if you've recently had, you know, a conversation or like more so an argument with your people is because, you know, you never did the whole materialistic thing 
for Christmas and, you know, you you don't give gifts and things along those lines and whatever the case may be or just give somebody your warmth and your energy and just be present and, you know, things along that lines. Because at the end of the day, bro, like, that's all that really matters, you know. You can get somebody a fucking nice coat, a fur coat for Christmas and the next thing you know, they don't ever fucking wear it. You can cook somebody a meal for Thanksgiving and they won't eat it. You can get somebody some chocolates and some flowers and they'll fucking let the flowers sit there and wilt and they'll let the chocolates expire. So what does that tell you? It should tell you a lot. It should say be grounded in yourself and don't feel like you have to give somebody a materialistic piece, a materialistic piece of yourself to feel like, you know, you earned something from that. Just be yourself and be vulnerable and allow yourself to just allow yourself to be you and that's all that really counts for something. But that's that's all I got. I hope this video helped you out and if you have any issues just feel free to shoot me a message. Uh you know, I'll I'll help as best as I can, but remember I have, you know, I have my own mental things that I'm trying to push through and go through as well. So take it easy. But, you know, I'll be I'll be here. Holler at me. Be good.